Well, earlier today we talked about resolutions. Now it's time to talk about the 2017 Faith Challenge. Are you ready for a 12 month spiritual workout? No need to step on the treadmill and we aren't even going to measure your body fat or put you on a stringent <laughs> diet. Instead, we hope to offer you ideas that will enrich your life, bring you closer to Christ, and find ways to experience spiritual freedom and a stronger faith. Now, this year, our topics will include ways to cut down on worry and increase trust, renewing of the mind, following God's lead, reconciliation and forgiveness, and more. But we start out our 2017 workout with two important disciplines, daily prayer and daily Bible reading. There's no right or wrong way to make a daily prayer and Bible reading plan. What is key is making a plan that will work for you and one that can become a habit. Start by talking about a daily Bible reading plan. And if you're not reading the Bible every day, then the easy answer is to start. But where do you start? And that's always an important question. Andy, a few years ago, I remember you talking about you were committing to reading the Bible on a daily basis. How did you start and what's worked? In your life? I started at the beginning, first of all, Genesis, and I went through a simple chronological Bible plan where I would just read until, you know, I, I really was processing the information. Sometimes it was several pages because it was a story. You know, reading through Genesis, you hear a lot of those stories. And as you get uh, later on in the New Testament, Acts is a great book. You don't want to put down because there's so many things happening. There's so many different stories. But stuff like Leviticus or perhaps the prophets. You know, you really have to take some time to read what, what's being said there. In fact, just a few days ago, uh, I was reading in Isaiah, and I only got five words in because I was just hit by the, the gravity of what was saying there, and I couldn't go on because I just kept meditating and praying on those five words. So I, I would say it's great to, to try and read through the entire Bible in a year, but don't force yourself. i got to get through 3.7 pages to get through the Bible in a year. Really? Just soak it in. It's a story. And as you read it chronologically, it's helped me to see that story aspect come out. So you still are working on your one-year Bible I'm plan. Halfway through. You're into the second right. year, aren't you? Right. But I've, I've read every day through the first year, and so I'm going to continue that here. And, and I think once I get to the New Testament, it gets cooking because there's a lot, uh, a lot of good stories there. And, you know, there's a lot of different Bible plans out there, mm -hmm. and some are set up chronologically to, to start at Genesis and take you all the way through. There's many other plans that will have you read a couple of books or a couple of chapters from the New Testament, a couple of chapters from the Old Testament, and maybe a, a book from the Psalm each day. And, and that's one way you can get through. And, and some Bibles are set up for daily reading plans. There are many online as well. Backtothebible.org offers several daily Bible reading plans. Now, We've chosen one from a website that will follow through this year. Now, it won't follow, some won't follow as quickly as it recommends. Some want to study the Bible, not just read it. So for Andy, for example, it takes longer to get through, and that, that is certainly okay. And, and while there's other plans that are set up chronologically, and it gives you on January 3rd, you need to read this chapter and this chapter and this chapter, you know, there are other plans that are not set up based on a calendar. It's just week one, day one. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, it, it's, it's January 31st, I haven't read January, I'm lost, I can't do this this year. That's not the case. You can find a plan that will allow you to just start week one, day one, and you can pick it up at any point during the year and read through the Bible. Daily Bible reading and daily prayer. Those are two things we encourage you to commit to making these parts of your life. We'll talk more next week about daily prayer. And of course, both of those are part of our 2017 Faith Challenge 12 Spiritual Workouts. And we'll be right back after this.